Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Arts Reporter, an online magazine reporting on music and arts projects in Miami, Florida, and around the country. This is your host, Joan Cartwright. Sit back and relax. And today, my guest is Brian Harris, owner of Chow Pasta and Grill. Brian, give us the address, the telephone number, and the website for your restaurant. We are located at 1321 East Commercial Boulevard in Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. And our main phone number is 954 616 8300, and we do take reservations on Friday and Saturday evenings for the show. Our website is www.chowpastagrill.com. That's C-I-A-O, pasta, P-A-S-T-A, grill.com. Tell us about your menu, because that's what people are coming for, the food, the drink, and the music. Well, Chow Pasta and Grill was founded as an alternative to fast food. We only use fresh market ingredients, high quality meat, seafood, and we wanted a place that people could order lunch from in the beginning when we first started. Of course, we were a, a takeout uh, deli and delivery business and catering. We built the business very quickly. Our food sort of caught on quickly, and we built it because we wanted a place for people to go that they could have a really nice, healthy meal with, you know, real meats, not processed, or all these types of foods and meats that they're selling now at, at restaurants and fast food places and sandwich places. It's all processed, and it's really not healthy for people. It's full of salt and different chemicals, and we just use regular old-fashioned food the way your grandmother used to make it. You know, we cook the old-fashioned way. We bake turkey every day on the bone. Uh, we use fresh salads and ingredients and lettuces. We don't buy bagged lettuce. We buy fresh heads of lettuce. It's just really getting back to the basics of enjoying cooking and enjoying a home-cooked meal. So, um, you know, you won't find processed foods at our restaurant, and that's the way that we did it when we were a deli, and we're certainly moving that same style of uh, food preparation over to the restaurant side. Well, I have to tell you, and this is not just because you hired me to be your singer. I ate the salad with my shrimp and those divine sweet potato fries. The salad, when I bit into it, I was pleasantly surprised because it was totally fresh. So I can vouch for the food, and I'm going to eat. <laughs> Anybody that knows the diva knows she's going to eat. you got to feed the diva. And your staff, Kevin, is very personable. Joe, he was so sweet to all of us. I remember Lewis, and then uh-huh. in the kitchen is Jason. Is that correct? Jason's our executive chef, that's correct. There's so our... one more waiter, but I can't remember his name. Pedro. Uh, Pedro, that's yeah. right. I should remember that because that was my first husband's brother's name. Uh-oh. Of course, you know I've had <laughs> four husbands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> child, like I, don't know, I didn't know it was four. <laughs> well, you got to keep doing it until you get it right. <laughs> I'm looking for number five. I love the song that you sang that you wrote. Uh, it was so great, and it really got everybody riled up about your next husband. That was wonderful. Oh, is but, that uh, thank you treat for me right, and you don't have to treat marry me? Treat me right, babe. That's right. Okay, well, listen, while we're waiting for what needed to come on, I'm going to play this, so just relax, okay. and I'll be right back. Treat me right. Okay. <laughs> marry me treat me right baby and I won't make you marry me all I want is good finance 
dancing and some fun. 